Yes. Yeah. So let me, uh, yeah. Um, Hello everybody, Vincent Devere here. Here, yeah, I'm still here. Here, here we go. He's here. So it's another uh, Vincent Devere Eat Local. Local And eats. of course, we're still uh, dealing with the current state of the world, so it's takeout. What are these boxes that I see staring straight in front of me? That's some weird Twitter reference, but either way, it's Loving Hut, uh, a local vegan Chinese restaurant? Yes. Chinese? I yes. Chinese. Uh, when, That's why we, this reflection will show. We, 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 we went a little crazy. Just, just, just a little bit. Like This is probably four times what we normally order at a Chinese food place. But I wanted more. Everything is vegan. Everything. It's hard to not order everything. Yes. So uh, we're ready to dive in. So let's just get this unboxing experience going here. First thing we have is spring rolls. These are your traditional spring rolls. They have carrot, cabbage, soy, protein, mushroom, bean threads, and a little dipping sauce with them as well. Oh, the sauce. If I can get this knot that I tied in the bag out. Maybe. Really wasn't that far from Universal. It's like probably like ten miles away from Universal. Not far at all. Pretty close. I'm colonial. Cozy little place. Where do I get done box? Yellow rice. That's all it is. It's just yellow it's just rice. Yellow rice. Just, just don't drop it. And it's it's yellow. It's a pale yellow. But a little, little, little yellow rice. Is this... this is the Awalak Sweet and Sour Soup. Which I'm not going to open. Right. We'll do a close up of that. And I think there's two of them? Why is there two of them? Two. And one of them is uh, pho. Oh. Pho. And pho. Okay. And sushi. Oh, yeah. This one says pho. This is the uh, Sushi Delight. All cozy in this package with included dipping sauce. What do you got there? These pho? are like the add-in pieces that you For put the in the soup. Yeah. Okay. You're soup in my soup. Are they both are they labeled? Yeah. Well, the bowl's not, but the, these are. Okay. Yeah, they they uh they were very good about making sure we had everything we had. I counted it out twice, read right the order back, which was nice. This is uh, the fresh spring rolls, and it has vegan shrimp in it. Very convincing looking vegan shrimp. That's going to be interesting. And then uh, I think this is the princess order here. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, golden BBQ. On a stick. She wants a stick BBQ. Because I guess it's what I usually get when I go to actual. It looks very convincing. Just looking at her hair. Wow. This, uh, the quality so far very much over is understated when you go visit the place. It's a, it's a very like mom and pop place. It doesn't look like anything fancy, but like this presentation is like on point. Then we have a grilled chicken teriyaki, which looks just like something we got at um, Nine Dragons. Yeah. At Epcot. Little rice bowl, teriyaki, sesame seeds, really like steamed veggies. And then this one. Is the uh, curry BBQ. Hmm, also on a stick. Gala rice and steamed veggies. Can't really lean that over too far. We'll get some photos and stuff for you guys. That's good looking. I'm excited. It's How about we stuff. put these on plates and bowls? All of it? Yeah. Uh, okay, let's do that. Be right back. There we have. Now it's plated. Everything unpacked beautifully on plates as we believe it would be displayed if we were able to eat inside right now. Yes. So we're going to start with our apps and then move on to some mains and We have a enjoy. literal buffet of food here. I love so. it. 
We're gonna get into it. I'm so excited. Yes. We, we have rolls at spring. Yes, they spring rolls. Yes, springy. They look like spring rolls. They do. I'm very interested in this this plant-based shrimp. This one looks huge. It's looking shrimpy. I'm scared of this one. I ordered these because I was afraid that two of these wasn't going to be enough, but those are absolutely massive. They're like rice paper burritos. Should we start with these ones then? Let's start with these. Uh, so this is like a peanut sauce, and then this is their al lock sauce. So we'll have to do two bites, one with each sauce. This is like massive rice hefty, paper, rice noodle, kind lettuce. Of uh, what the plant? The, some structured protein in there. Got this? Mm, yeah, I think so. Mmm. It's a wonderful bite. Everything's fresh. The protein's interesting. It bites like, like a pork or a chicken would. That peanut sauce is divine. It's very good. It's like slight peanut without going overboard. Like mm -hmm. some places. Yeah, I like that. This is very interesting. It is. Very tasty. I guess we should try this sweet and the sour sauce. I yeah, think that's what it is. See if we can get a bit of the shrimp in this bite. I didn't get enough. Okay, a little more. There we go. Mm. Mm. It's a bit spicy, mm -hmm. but in a good way. Mm -hmm. The front of the tongue, kind of like a two out of ten, but there's something like a little kick and tang. These are good. They look amazing. They taste amazing. So far, we're off to a good start. I'm giving this four out of five flaws. This is the most convincing vegan spring roll that I've had ever. I don't really taste the shrimp that much, though. That's the one thing, like, it doesn't have the ishi shrimp taste, but I'm not mad at that. Those pieces of tofu are amazing. Yes, very good. Traditional fried spring roll. Yes, let's try With this the one. Same al lock sauce. Oh, it's the same sauce? I believe so. Okay. Dink. Dink. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Oh my goodness, this is so good. It's crisp, not greasy. Got the insides look absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Nice bite. Um, good. I kind of like this better than the other rolls. I'm impressed. I don't. I don't want to like stop eating this. I want to finish this. You have more food to eat. Mm -hmm. Slow down, princess. But it's good. I'll give it three and a half out of five plus. I think the other spring rolls a little bit better. Tiny bit. Really? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna disagree. Here we have the golden barbecue. It looks just like uh, the roasted teriyaki on a stick that you get in like the bag at the other Chinese food places. But with sesame seeds. Little stabbies. Cheers. Ooh. Hmm. Interesting flavoring. Very strong lemongrass flavoring. Mm. It doesn't taste like as roasted as a like a normal chicken teriyaki stick does, but it's not teriyaki one. Uh, but the texture of like this plant based protein is more of like a a really fresh beef jerky than a okay than a roasted meat. I can see that. But it's still really packed with flavor and it's got a nice chew to it. Like chewy, but not too chewy. Yeah, I like that. Very convincing. I'll give that four to five claws. I would eat a whole tray of these. Mow through them. I'm glad that I got that. I couldn't resist. On the menu, we have what they call their sushi delight. Which is like tofu, vegan ham, avocado, carrot, in a seaweed wrap. Wow, it's almost as good as Sushi Co. Probably not, though. Let's try this guy. I like to dip mine in the soy sauce. Big honking bite here. Normally, I would pour. Cheers. Mmm. That is some really good sushi. Mm -hmm. It's not. Wow. 
she should go great. So she will always have a special place in her heart. If you haven't seen that video, please go check below. We'll have that. But we have a couple. If, yeah, we love that place. Anytime we get anywhere near Sushiko, which is North Florida, we cannot help but stop. But this is really good. I would it's love amazing. to see them do a full sushi menu. The ham is very like prominent, mm. in, in and the it taste. tastes hammy. It tastes hammy. So like, I'm impressed. I like I'm that. I'm sad there's not more sushi on their menu. There's only two rolls. Yeah, it's a very small roll menu. It's like this and then a vegetable roll. But this is really good. This is amazing. I give this three and a half out of five plus. We got some soup. So one of us got hot and sour. The other got pho. I got sweet and sour soup. Sweet and sour? Or hot and, and he sour. got pho. So okay. mine has like rice noodles and bean sprouts and it's all kind of like I got vermicelli and... Smells like pho. And we got some of the bean sprouts and chives. We got a little lemon in here. Or a lime, sorry. Yeah, I got a lime too. Give that a good little squeeze there. Stir her up. Now, I love pho. But unfortunately, most Vietnamese places that I go that have pho do not have anything vegan for the princess. So I have That's not true. gone in a very long time. Unless if, he goes by himself. If I go by myself. Unless, if you guys know of a vegan pho place here in Orlando, I need to know. So let me know in the comments. Yes, please. Thank you. And this is like way too much noodles for me. Mine's like overflowing in noodles. So I need some chopstick assistance. And there's this. more like plant-based meat structured protein here. It looks like, looks like a beef or a pork, really. And then there's also tofu. Oh, yeah, these, like, tofu strips. Yes. It looked great. I can't wait to bite into this. I'm having so much fun with this. It's sad. <laughs> it's just food, and I love it. Eee. You ready? I don't know if we're going to be able to drink this. We'll try. Oh, uh, yeah, that's close enough. Okay. Yeah. Mmm. Oh my god. Hmm. All this is missing for me is like my the spicy drizzle. Which we have, you can put some and, on. It makes my heart just sing. Sing. I want I just want a face plant in this bowl. Really? It's that good. Mine's a little bland. I'm not sure if I would order this again. It's it's very meh. To Isn't me. it? Yeah. But it looks like it's so chock full of things. It does look chock full of things, but it's just not not the greatest. Okay, well. Let's switch here and uh let's, let's give this a shot. I wanna give this a good old college try. Actually, a hefty bite. Let me grab some of these noodles. I did not do that here. I need chopstick assistance for this because it's just too it's too much of a mess. Uh, I've been doing this a while. Chopsticks what? <laughs> yeah, this isn't working for me. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Yes to the pho. Mmm. The pho is like way better than my soup. Way better. Wow. I think the broth and the sweet and sour could use a little bit of work. It tastes more sour than sweet and they're not in balance, which I guess... Is a problem for me. The veggies, the protein, everything else, nice crunch, great mouthfeel. I like it, but I like the pho more. The, the pho, pho for better. me, it's a four and a half out of five claws. It's the best and only vegan pho I've ever had. This right here is probably a two and a half out of five claws. This is average, but I wouldn't order this. I would definitely skip this and go straight for that. I agree. Yes. It means. Now we come to the final entree. Yes. So, I next you side of rice to the princess because I'm I like rice. The I'm, only thing she I'm like, Persian. The only thing she likes more than bread is rice. It's the, it's the Persian in me. It is. Uh, so uh, we we're doing chopsticks. Yeah. Yeah. Chopsticks. Okay. It. I'm going to go straight for these veggies. All right. Let's do the veggies. They're the same veggies, so yes. we don't have to eat each other's. Standard. Oh. They're steamed. Mm-hmm. They're cooked all the way through. They're not soggy, so that's good. I don't got any complaints. It's better than most Chinese places. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. I'll give it an average score. 
Two and a half out of five was. I, I would eat these. I don't have a problem with that. Let's, let's try some of this. This is yellow rice. Well, then I think you have curried rice and I have yellow rice. Yes. So I have curried. You get curried first. Okay. Mmm. It's like a dry curry. Mm-hmm. I don't hate it. I don't know if I love it either, though. I like the yellow it's, rice. It's a, little, it's a little... I don't know if it's just the seasoning, but it feels a bit dry. Mm. Two and a half out of five. The yellow rice is dry, too, but I kind of like it. I think this is more moist. Yeah, yours is way more dry. Mm. Oh, this one better. Yeah, I don't like the curry one at all. Mm. No. This one is like full of flavor and still a little bit moist. It's like not like wet. But this one is a bit... I don't, I don't know if it's seasoning, dry. but I can't with that one. <laughs> I'm going two out of five cloths of the curry rice. Not a fan. Three for the yellow rice. That one I like. That one's good. Next, do you want to try my beef together? Yes. Go ahead, I, wanna... I think it's beef. Teriyaki beef. Teriyaki beef? I don't want this whole big piece. Big like Huge. pieces. Dink. Dink. Ooh. Mmm. 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 Oh wow. Oh my goodness. Sir. No business tasting that good. Wow, that's amazing. That tastes like beef. Oh my god. It's a bit like it's a bit more like the roasted teriyaki or like riblets. Like uh, that you get like the beef, the beef tips that you get at like a yeah. Chinese food place, but like they soaked up that sauce. They're still chewing their own and they're not dried out. You would think they'd be dried out and they're not. That's amazing. It reminds me of like the tofurkey ham, but with a teriyaki sauce on it. Mm, that is a solid four out of five claws for me. That's it's amazing. not my favorite thing so far. It's worth the fuck, but that is dang close. I think that's probably my favorite thing today. I know, I think I'm going to give it a four out of five claws, too, because I'm like an amazement of that. That's it's so good. It's really good. It's very good. Four and a half out of five claws. I take back my reading. And then, I'm just gonna these are curry beef sticks. I'm going to take a piece like this. Okay. I'm going to move the stick like a savage. Dink. Dink. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's like a more saucy version. Of the golden barbecue. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call it curried. So, I would say it's more lemongrassy mm. flavored. But it's still got its own unique flavor. And I'm on board for it. I would say that I'm, I think like my side I was more amazed with than my mains. Except for your beef. That's amazing. My beef was good. And I think your spring rolls were my, those were my two favorites. I think I prefer the golden barbecue. But this one right here, it's a three out of five claws for me. I like everything here. And I, I actively stopped the princess from ordering, like, the entire menu because all this food, this is $68 worth of food. I was I wanted more items. And this he is, me. the prices aren't ridiculous. They're about the same as you get at a normal Chinese food place. But the flavor, though. The flavor is amazing. it's all vegan. Like, I, if you haven't been to Loving Hut, you need to make a visit. Like, this is Absolutely great. This agree. is probably the best vegan Chinese food I've ever had. Like, I would almost put this above our love for uh, Dharma Fine Vittles. I'm oh. not putting it above Sushi I can't do that. <laughs> I cannot do okay, that. Okay, well, yeah, Dar I, I would agree with it, that. With that, It is better than Dharma, except for they have the best fried chicken. Yes, but like this, oh my God. Oh my this God. is good. Imagine if China and Epcot had this. Oh my gosh. This is we so would eat there good. all the time. Yes, we would never leave. I would forego, I would forego meat at a Chinese food place for this. It is really that good. I I am extremely surprised. But like, if this is, like, we were just getting into our local eats. If this is yeah. what Orlando has to offer, I can't we're here for wait it. for more recommendations from you guys. But I need to know, have you guys been a Loving Hut? Why have you not been a Loving Hut? Why did it take you guys so long to recommend this place to us? Hit up the comments and let us know. If there's any other place even close to this good in Orlando, that's going to be the place to let us know. Hit that notification bell if you want to skill videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl.